Anyway, okay, you yeah, take it okay. away. <laughs> <laughs> and action. All right. But um, thank you guys so much for joining. This is the Understanding a Man podcast. I want to thank you guys so much for joining us. Please continue to follow um, on all platforms, of course, on whether it's Anchor or you know, YouTube, whatever, at Elon B. King. And I am super excited uh, today to bring back our guest. She was dropping some serious nuggets on our last episode uh, when we were obviously talking about this, the holiday uh, version of the Understanding Man podcast. And just want to, you know, as we go into this time of year, there's some things, some tips that we kind of want to bring uh, to the table and kind of help everybody out. Um, but before I do that, of, of course, this individual that I'm that we're speaking with today, Dr. Brizendon, if I had to list the top three people in this world that I love to sit down and talk with, this person would be that person. I originally stumbled across um, her amazing works about three, four years ago with uh, first the female brain, which after the Bible, I think it goes like the Bible. And then after the Bible comes the female brain. And then after the female brain comes the male brain. And then after the male brain comes her latest project, um, uh, The Upgrade, which if you plan to be in a relationship with a person, you have to read this book. So much I learned. Um, and gentlemen, I'm telling you, there's a lot of information um, packed in there, but uh, I want to give uh, her a chance of just introducing herself. And then we're going to dive right in because it's just too much to talk about. So thank you so much for joining us today, Dr. Brizendine. Thanks for having me back with your audience again. We're going to give them some tips to help them out, get, make it through the holidays in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And if you can give everybody a 30 second elevated version, who you are, what you're doing, and then we'll dive on in. I'm Dr. Luann Brizendine, and um, I am, like uh, Elon said, author of The Female Brain, The Male Brain, and now The Upgrade. It's, it's, uh should have been subtitled key key to men uh keeping their relationship together uh, what <laughs> not getting, not they getting didn't blamed. tell us they, <laughs> didn't, they didn't tell us this stuff in health class okay they didn't tell us this and what your bodies go through oh my goodness but you know I, love, I, I feel also i feel like i told all the sick i told all the women's secrets in the upgrade the secret i told all the secrets that nobody talks about and a lot of women don't even talk to each other we we women don't even talk to each other about some of the stuff i put in the book because you know it's just like <clears throat> you know you don't want to you don't want to it's like you, you got to get down and dirty with some of right. this stuff, especially and you that's guys. what you, you do live with us you live with us you should know all the stuff that's really going on and that's what I love about all of your books, but particularly in this one, because you got down and dirty. No, we don't have a vagina. No, we don't know what it's like to bleed every month, you know, since you were like 12, 13, 14, you know, and the just the the, the fertility pieces that come along, the hormones and how um, they, they shake and move. And I will say that um, just and we'll jump on in a second, but I have to say, even in my latest book, uh, Memoirs from a Father to a Son, um, there's a whole chapter in there specifically when I'm talking to the men about some of the hormones and how they affect our bodies. We only know about really testosterone. Everybody knows testosterone and estrogen, but nobody knows about prolactin. Nobody knows about MIS, which, oh, my gosh, you know what I'm saying? Um, and how, what cortisol can do with to you and all that. You're like a walking hormone, ladies and gentlemen, and that's what's making you shake and move. And that affects the way that you communicate with your significant other. And as we're looking towards the holidays um, in our previous episode, you guys can go back and listen to that. We were talking about the, just the hormone cortisol and, and what that does inside of your body and how that can affect um, relationships. And so um, I, I wanted to kind of uh, move over to, because uh, we also talked about the importance of sleep and what that does in your relationship as well. But, you know, Dr. Brizendine, as we move towards the holidays, you, you the females are, you great planning people, you, you just, you just out there rocking with it. Right. And so, uh, most of the time that is right. And so us as men, we kind of sit back and let you do it. <laughs> and then you become overwhelmed or whatever. Um, and you, and guys maybe get the blame. you guys get the blame for everything we didn't do. You know, it's good for not helping us more, but we really wanted to do it our way anyway. Absolutely. And so maybe I'm already throwing in what one of the tips for us to do. But if we had to look towards the holidays and, and, you know, what is something that you would give a tip for men to think about that we probably don't think about? Um, and that's whether a, a woman is, is inside of the transition area 
or whether she might be 20 some 25 years old you know what is something that that men need to think about absolutely so one of the things guys that you should think about is anytime your female's cortisol level right that's her stress hormone levels rise and then when he's planning and she's juggling too much at once the the, the, the stress hormones decrease her sex drive Oh, 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 we should have started talking about that in episode one. Wait a minute. <laughs> there we go. So it decreases her sex drive. So if she gets too stressed and doesn't get enough help, her right. sex drive is going to go into the toilet. You, for, okay. you, you gotta, don't even think about it. Don't even go near her because she ain't going to want, she's not like interested in you for nothing if she's got too much stress going on. So stress hormones and the female will suppress their their sex drive a lot. So, you know, I mean, it's just, that's just, it's just a way to have guys remember why you shouldn't let her get too stressed. You got to help her out. Right. And you know, it's so funny. So here's the difference. So a woman gets stressed. I'm thinking, well, Hey, let's do the stress reliever, right? That should help us out. Right. Thinking like a guy. Right. And then if you say no, I'm like, well, you're saying you're stressed out. I'm trying to help you out. Meanwhile, your brain is like, well, yeah, it could, but nah, the way my brain is set up. And so here, here comes an argument. Yeah, right? because you know, because he thinks he's got the solution, which is to have sex, because that's what would do it for him. But he doesn't realize that her she's gone over the other side where the stress is so much it's completely suppressed her sex drive. So, and she just doesn't even have time for it. She doesn't even want to hear about it. And she she'll look at you and think. How can you even think about that right now? I've got oh, so that phrase. Yeah. Oh, you know? that phrase right there. I, that just resonated with like 99% of the men I probably know or have spoken to that have been in this situation. Um, wow. That's, I mean, okay. So your stress is high. We want to relieve it that way. That's the wrong way. What should we do? So one way you can just do this is like, if you just, if you heard what we just said, you, the, your mm -hmm. thing to do is maybe to turn to her like, or not at the end of the day when she's completely, totally messed, but early in the day, say, look, I know you got a lot on your plate today in the next few. Can you just, just tell me what I can do to help you? Gentlemen, write that down. Hold on. Let's put a bullet point on that one. What can I do to help you straight from the doctor? Y'all, those are the doctors orders men ask what can i do and it's actually you know i'm being a little candid but it's, that's actually a simple question um i also heard uh even better way of doing this and it was just something i implemented into my household the night before asking what can i do tomorrow to help your day be a little bit better that Absolutely. phrase can go a long way for the holidays that's key so the night before thanksgiving you can ask that the night before whatever could the christmas whatever it is that she where she's like what can i help you do what tomorrow to make the day go better mm -hmm. and you know the beginning of that week so like on Thanksgiving, and that's what i was saying really any day start on the monday that. start on the monday morning going like i know this is going to be a really busy week for you please tell me what i can do to help you Mm. Gentlemen, you have heard it first. That is the, the stress level up there. It's not going to come down by you trying to push forward in a sexual manner. You got to take some stuff off the plate, folks. OK, um, so that one, we could probably even take that for the next 30 minutes. But um, is any other major one major tip out there to, for us as gentlemen to think about moving into the holidays to make sure we keep the, you know, the arguments down in the home? I think, you know, the, 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 see, when you ask her, what can I do to help you? Even mm -hmm. if she says, no, I've got, I've got this, I've got it nailed, never mind, mm -hmm. whatever. Even if she says that, don't take it as a rejection mm -hmm. and that you might not just ask her again the next day or the next, or the evening or, you know, before, at, at dinner, say, how are things, check in with her. How are things going? You know, is there anything that, anything okay. that you'd like me, any kind of thing you'd like me to pick up? On, on blah 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 because okay. what that means what that means is that you emotionally are mirroring her you're staying with her you're letting her know that you care for her you're letting her know that you care enough about her that you don't want her to get stressed out it just even mm. that the simple little sentence has this huge amount of meaning to her that you may not realize and that alone just knowing that you've asked the question will help relieve her stress even if you don't if she has nothing for you to do at all, uh, you know, mm -hmm. if she gives you, you think, well, she should give you something if you, no, just having you say the statement. Ah, uh, yeah, because we're going to, yeah, we're, 
<laughs> well, the gift, the gift to her, the true gift to her is just by your even asking the question, putting it into words, what can I do to help you? Just that alone is a gift to her. And I think that you kind of said it. I, you saw me laugh for a second because not on and doing it with not having the expectation, fellas. And I'm going to say this to you be, from man to man. All right, fellas, do it without the expectation that you're going to get some from it. OK, let's just put that. I mean, just do it to do the right thing. And you I might think get some, it, you might get some after the holiday. Right. Day, you know? <laughs> Maybe oh on Friday when everything's better. You definitely, but you know, you're more likely to get some after the holiday than if she's pissed at you. Then after the holiday, she, you may be in the doghouse for another week. So you right. Know? Oh, so that's two weeks down, fellas. You don't want to do that, right? You um, might want to reduce the number of days you're in the doghouse, guys. And that that may be just like that. That simple. What can I do to help you? You know, and have have no expectations of sex at all from her because. She's, mm. she's, she's whatever. Mm. Her dance card is full, baby. It's full. And believe me, you could, you push for something with her then. And she just thinks you don't care about her. Now let's be clear. We're not giving a, a, a ticket ladies to wives to just say no to your husband for the holidays. No, 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 no. And I want the reason why I want to throw jump in here real quick. And before we go is because I think I want to throw this and see if you want to agree or disagree, Dr. Brizendine. Ladies, uh, sometimes saying the word no during the holidays to everybody else or other things that people are trying to pull you in other directions, that is also um, a part of self-care, I, I would want to say, of just taking care of yourself and not putting too much on your plate because you're just great at doing things and juggling balls. And then sometimes you got too many in your hand. What are your thoughts about that? Absolutely. And I would say on this one sentence that I really like, and it's that no is a complete sentence. I Come on. Come on. No is a complete sentence, ladies. So ladies, while we work towards taking some of those things that you probably shouldn't have put on your plate, help us out by saying no to somebody. <laughs> Say no this Christmas. To somebody, okay? This holiday season, say no. But honestly, I think that that's something because sometimes, when, ladies, you are so great at at doing things and you just keep on picking them up because you don't want to let somebody down. You don't want to let this family member down, that friend that's been there for you for 20 years and now you've already picked up a whole bunch of stuff and now that person comes along and asks you and you say yes and then you become overwhelmed. And I'm going to be honest with you, Dr. B. Um, we... Um, as men, we sit back and we watch you do that. And then when you're juggling too much, we kind of say, well, why did you take on all of that anyway? What about me? You're taking on all of that stuff and, you sh and you're not taking me on and now you want me to help you out. So I just kind of want to throw that in there because that could be a point of contention sometimes. Exactly. We're watching... We're watching so you, one of the, so you guys, what you might want to do is the week before the holiday or whatever, you could say to her, look, I want to make sure that you're getting some of your self-care in there, honey. You need to do some self-care. And one of the self-cares that I, you know, I, from past experience, self-care is also saying no to a bunch of stuff that isn't the priority. Let's okay. pick the top three things that are the priorities. One, two, and three you could help talk it through with her. What are the top three priorities? And then everything below that or anything else that comes along is a no. Mm. And here's the thing. Uh, hopefully you guys are listening to this and, and make sure we get this information out as soon as possible, because here's the thing. We can go. We can start being proactive, gentlemen. Right. We can start watching not only the things that she's taking, but at the same time, she takes on three. You take one. You know, she takes on five. You take one. You know, maybe two. I don't know. Or or maybe even even having the conversation of, hey, just be cautious. You know, if I it, it, just be cautious having that discussion uh, with your wife of saying, hey, watch all the things that you're taking on because I don't want you to, do, to become overwhelmed. What do you think about that? Absolutely. Because what you're doing is you're helping her mm -hmm. emphasize self-care for her. Right. You know, right. A couple, a couple gets along if each person is taking responsibility for their own self care mm -hmm. first. Number one, remember that thing about put your own oxygen mask on first before you yes, can help somebody else. So guys, yep. make sure that you guys have your oxygen mask on first, and you can help her put hers on. But then, you know, you got to also point out to her that she needs to be doing her self care and 
you can do, what can I do to help you with yourself? Sometimes women think self-care is like going to the hairdresser or going and getting a massage or getting your nails. And I mean, those things are self-care for us too, but the basics are not taking on too much on your list, ladies, just taking too much on your list. And then the husband or the partner comes last, or you guys don't even get on the list at all. Uh, that's the, okay. Episode three, we got it. We're going to have to do another one, but not, to, we're, we're going to do that one another day because that one right there is the, what I'm hearing from some men of, wait, now how did I get to the bottom of the, uh, uh, of the totem pole? Because all these other things were picked and that, is a whole nother conversation. Um, that, uh, Dr. Brizendon, I don't want to be proactive, go. guys. Be proactive. Listen to your alum. Listen to him. He's got some tips for you guys to like to be proactive. Uh, I, so, ladies and gentlemen, a hey, gentleman, take something off the plate. Ladies, don't put too much on the plate. And gentlemen, don't try to relieve her her pressure by having trying to ask for sex because it's going to get worse for you okay uh dr brizendine tell them how how tell thank first of all thank you so much for uh for just joining again just dropping the nuggets that you do she is going to be back ladies and gentlemen this lady is just packed full of information that can not only help you for the holidays but uh you know in years to come um as we continue to dive into her amazing book the upgrade right here this right here put this like your Bible, and then this. This is what this this is what should be sitting on your nightstand. I'm trying to tell you the information in here. Um, whether you're male or female, um, along with the male brain and the female brain as well, got to have that information. Doctor Brizadine, tell them where they can get your book, where they can follow you, all that good stuff. Uh, so I'm on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. But the um, upgrade, the upgrade is whatever bookstore you want to go to. I'd like to support all of your local bookstores so that the small book owners can keep their shops open. That's the best place uh, to order or get it. And you can also get it off, you know, Amazon. Every place else has got it. Uh, it's easy to. Get. It's also on Audible. You can get uh, there's a really nice Audible of it. I know that Elam is listening to it on Audible. <laughs> he puts it on. He puts it on replay. <laughs> Don't replay yet, ladies and gentlemen. If they didn't come up with audiobooks, I would probably be an ignorant person because me sitting down is crazy. I just have to have to put on the audio. But thank you guys so much again for joining us. The uh, Understanding a Man podcast show. Thank you so much. Continue to follow us on all platforms at Elon B. King. And you can always go on over to elonbking.com. Uh, to get any of the, the latest uh, things that we have out there. Of course, the memoirs from a father to a son is out right now. So make sure that if you have anybody that you love between 13 and 30, this is the book for that person. OK, um, thank you so much again, Dr. Brizendine. They're going to see you again real soon because you got we got some others. We got We got we got to help some folks. We got some other stuff out here. Happy holidays, <laughs> everybody. Hope you, hope, hope, you give me, hope you make it through to the first after the first of the year. We'll talk again and see how your report card went. <laughs> right. That, I like that. That's for real. <laughs> hey, gentlemen, rewind back. Listen to this again. All right. You need that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, man. That's so funny.